This is something I've been putting off for a while. I'm not really looking forward to it. And I think it's going to involve a lot of suffering, but unfortunately it needs to be done. Some of you may recognize my old faithful. I had this van for years and I absolutely love it. But unfortunately with it being a transit, it's rotten to bits underneath. It's at the point where most people would just give up on it now and get it scrapped. But I don't want to do that because I think it's far too good. It's got a great engine and a good gearbox and it would be a shame. But as you can see underneath, it's completely and utterly surface rusted everywhere and I've done a lot of welding on this in the past uh, and it's going to need a bit more so basically what I'm going to do is clean the frame up, get all the surface rust off treat it with rust converter and then under seal the whole thing now obviously when I'm doing that it's going to expose a lot of areas like this where clearly look, it's rusted right through the chassis members here are the tools of the job Most importantly, when removing rust, a hammer. And unfortunately, there's no other way but to just crack on and do it. It's going to be a horrible, dirty job. So a lot of the chassis isn't that bad. I mean, it looks terrible, but it's all just surface rust. And a lot of it is also the old powder coating that's like loose on the top, so once you scratch that off it's not so bad. But there's been a lot of scratching involved in this so far. But we're getting there. And it's all solid metal. It just looks really scruffy. That doesn't look very good there, mind. And I've certainly exposed a few holes, that's for sure. It's going to need a patch or three. Like this bit here, this little cra this cross member on the chassis here is completely eaten through, and that's going to need a big patch over it there. But you know, it was never going to be easy. It's a 20 year old transit, and to be honest, for a 20 year old transit, it's a pretty damn good nick. And it's going to be worth doing because it's still a really good van, and there's a lot of life left in it. Anyway, I'm going to keep going because I'm two days into this, and uh, hopefully, I'll, hopefully, I'll get it done by the end of today. Right, so I've knocked off the loose rust. And now I'm just gonna paint the whole thing with this rust converting product. This uh, step here is gonna need some work. And unfortunately I've uncovered one or two holes where it's going to need a bit of a weld, but I think that was always going to be the case. That's most of the chassis now done with the rust converter and it's starting to change colour. And basically what happens is a chemical reaction that turns the rust back into metal, allegedly. So after it's been cleaned and um, rust converted, it definitely looks a lot better. Obviously, there are some issues to deal with. Yeah, how do you go in my ear? Bastard, yeah. So it certainly isn't pretty, but I'm going to clean it up with a grinder now and then it'll look better. And then a bit of seam seeing I'll clean it up. The main thing is just make sure you weld all the way around. It's, that's how it's got to be for the MOT. It's got to be seam welded all the way around. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not pretty, but it's very difficult to weld it underneath the van on the ground. Oh, 
me. This step here is going to need quite a big piece, as you can see, you know, so that front chassis member has gone there as well. So we'll start off with a good big plate, like so, and then weld that into position and then bend it in with a hammer and then just go off that. strong. new so there's the new step replacement so it's um it's effective but not pretty so i've given it a generous coating of seam sealer to make sure i haven't left any holes in the weld and now we're just going to give it a bit So here's the product we're going to use for under sealing. It's a lanolin based. So I imagine it's going to smell of sheep. Here the instructions say to spray the entirety of the vehicle underbody other than the brake discs. <laughs> oh, it totally smells of sheep. not really going to be able to film this um, and it absolutely stinks so I think I'll just crack on so that's what it looks like after the spray and I think it looks pretty cool it's very very easy to apply that stuff all you do is just spray it on and it comes out in a really fine mist and just seems to cling to everything right that'll do for today I've had enough because the wheel arch is in such a state on the rear near side here I've basically I've got a repair panel because I thought that's going to take an awful lot of small pieces to put that back together so I managed to pick this up for 20 quid so obviously it fits on there so what I'm going to have to do is cut away some of this and then put a bit more sill at the back um, and then sort of weld that to it so I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do it but I'm, I'm going to give it a whirl I think what I'll do to start with is cut, just cut this rotten bit away entirely. Problem is the door, the sliding door is going to be in the way, so I really hope I don't have to take that off. Okay, so we've cut a couple of pieces here just to uh, basically rebuild the inside. So if I weld that into there, then I can put a little piece to connect those together. Um, and then that gives me something behind to weld to. It's all going to take a little bit of ironing out towards the end, but I think we're off to a reasonable start. Don't worry about all the rust, we'll get all that uh, rust converted before we actually seal it up and close it in. Although, saying that, I mean this metal here that I'm putting in is going to last a lot longer than the metal that's in the van. So, um, I would imagine this stays good until the end of its life. It'll probably rot in other places before, uh, before this ever rots away. Oh, 
as you can see I'm working with very exact measurements. Try that then I can cut and hammer it into shape if required. That is not too bad. Fill in the rest of the missing pieces. I found a section of sill. Now I think this is from the same side, but it's off the front. So all I've had to do, I've just cut some pieces that are going to be close enough, and then I'm just going to patch them in in little pieces and put it all together a bit like a jigsaw. Okay, it isn't pretty, but it never is. It's going all right. I think with a bit of hammering and um, persuasion, I managed to get roughly the right shape. <laughs> With a lot of hammering, I've managed to get this to go into there. So I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, I don't know if you can see much here, but this is the back all stitched in. After a bit of a grind down, so obviously it needs a bit of uh, filler in just to tidy everything up, like, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so we've got this rather unpleasant looking piece to deal with here behind the, uh, the sugar. So I don't know how extensive that's going to be. I know that's a new patch there because I remember putting that on. So it looks like we'll have to butt a piece up there. Now the only problem is here, the last time I did this I nicked the brake pipe and I caused myself all sorts of bother. So I'll try and avoid that if possible. 
I'll get the wire brush on that and see what it looks like when it's cleaned up. So there was this big piece here that I knew was the problem and then behind it there's another bit that's going to need a patch onto there. Actually I'm just going to put a patch all the way over there. Like so. And then underneath there's another hole as well. So that's uh, it's three patches for one but such is life. So I think it goes without saying that end would have been a lot more than I expected. So that's that big panel there, big one there. I had to put one into here, into this curved bit. Another one here, some more underneath that you can't see. And I've still got one more to do under there. But that's like, that's a thousand times stronger than what it was before. So I guess that's all I can do. Da, 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 da. There we are. certainly not stronger than it was so happy it is all right it's another day and it's another hole to pack so we've got this one here and then i've got one more over there and that i hope is it it's uh it's definitely looking good under here now so we've got a patch here get that ground down and cleaned off and then we'll weld it and then hopefully this will be over soon because I am getting sick of it. Okay, so that's that one done. I ended up putting that one and I put another piece behind it as well just to well, just to double strengthen it. So that is all cushy. And when I'm under here, I'll give it another hit of this uh, lanolin spray. Just to make sure I haven't missed any bits. Right, it's time to hit the paint. So we've got, to start with, aluminium zinc as an undercoat. And then, top coat, and then lacquer. So I'm not going for a perfect finish. I'm just gonna do it outside. I'm, I'm not gonna get a perfect finish anyway, even if I tried it inside and spent all day cleaning it down. So I'm just gonna uh, clean it up with acetone and then uh, hit it with the undercoat and hopefully it'll come out okay. I think we're going for a generally um, improved appearance here as opposed to a perfect finish but then that's what this is all about this has not been a restoration this has just been adding a few more layers life to this van so i'm sure we can do that
So I'm actually pretty pleased with the way the paint's come out. It has left a bit of a strong line on this back bit here. Um, so I don't know if I can sort of um, maybe very very gently sand that down or just or just leave it because I think in the grand scheme of things the van looks an awful lot better than it did. Yeah, I mean we're not trying to kid anybody here that it's a new vehicle. So I think I'll just leave it because otherwise I'm just going to drive myself crazy. Uh, next plan is to take the wheels off each one and then I'm going to clean the wheel arches out. So I never really got around to doing that when I was doing the chassis. So I'll clean them and then I'll give them a squirt of that um, lana guard and that'll be then protected and then that's pretty much everything done underneath and then it's a case of just cleaning it uh give it a good value on the inside and then give it a good spit and polish on the outside and then that should be it finished Outside and in, I've given it a good clean out and today is the time to take it for an MOT so we shall just take it and see what happens, hopefully it'll pass, if not well at least it'll tell me what else I need to do before I can uh, move on with this particular project. Anyway let's go, hope for the best, fingers are double crossed. Well the news is good, we've got a clean pass MOT with no advisories, so happy it is, over the moon about that. <laughs> 